Thank you for staying for so long. It's definitely worth of it because uh, Pepa Chatrek's uh, topic is uh, very new. It's actually a project or product actually uh, that is still not available in a commercial product. But uh, Pepa will surely tell us more. Yeah, thanks for introduction. Uh, so welcome to your last presentation today. Uh, it's cool to have some audience at such a late hour. Uh, the presentation will be about new security subsystem in Wildfly or for Wildfly because the new and hot and awesome Wildfly 10, which was released one week before, doesn't contain Electron. Nevertheless, it only means that you still have a time to prepare for this revolution. Yeah, I always loved the second slide on presentations of Oracle employees, and I wanted to put disclaimer to my presentation, so now is the time and you can enjoy it. So information in this presentation are without any warranty. Yeah. So <laughs> if, you, if you break something, uh, yeah, I am not responsible for it. <laughs> and not my employee, <laughs> employer. Uh, what is the program of this presentation? I will start with conclusion because I have to catch a classical music concert at half past seven. And I don't know how the demo will go. Then some social, social stuff, because I've read somewhere that uh, yeah, some icebreakers should be in every good presentation, and I want this presentation to be good. And then we will talk about uh, why we are changing security subsystem in Elytron. And what features are al already implemented, and what we can expect in, in the future. Uh, shortly, we will look into compatibility issues, which we can expect. And then, if time allows and God, God allows, allow, we will try them all. So the conclusion. Electron is a set of APIs and SPIs uh, which cover whole uh, security of the application server. Uh, it unifies security configuration, which is now in wide flight fragmented to several places. For example, uh, SSL configuration. I can count at least three places, uh, security uh, domain, security realms, and under tau, for instance, where you can configure. And There is also a need for strong mechanisms, not only just based authentication. And for, for this purpose, the Electron was introduced. Uh, when the Electron was announced on Wildfly Dev mailing list uh, about one and a half year ago, uh, David Lloyd wrote that it will completely replace uh, Picketbox and JAS as Wildfly security solution. Yeah, we will see. So it was something, yeah, the message, and now uh, the social part. Uh, I will talk about me and I will, will ask something about you. So I work in Red Hat and I, my focus is on security and in last months also containers and clouds. The other roles which I play in my life more or less successfully is happy father, experienced hobby runner and organ player. And what about you? Are you Java EE friends? Raise your hands please. Yeah, nice, nearly everybody. 
And have you ever tried to play with security configuration in Wildfly? Yeah? Security domains, RAMs, SSL configuration. Eh, not so much, but... And do you run? Yeah? Share, share your enthusiasm. <laughs> nice. So the social part is successfully completed and now let's continue with more serious business. A social part. A social part. <laughs> uh, why we are replacing the current security solution, which is working so, somehow. Uh, let's dive into the history of JAS. JAS is actually client uh, site API, which predated uh, G2EE specification. And originally, G2EE didn't come with uh, with some security solution and left the decisions about security on the vendors, for example, JBoss. Uh, and at the times, uh, mainly simple security solutions were in demand and it means validating username, passwords, and as a re result, the JAS seemed as a good solution to solve this, this problem, this area. Uh, so the vendors implemented it, but not in standard way. With JBoss AS7, uh, preference was to switch to more strong authentication mechanisms, which means SASL mecha mechanisms, and this wasn't compatible with JAS. As a re result, new solution was introduced. Yeah, the JAS was covered by security domains, and now we have also security realms, which covers this SASL. Uh, and as a result, we have two solutions which solved the same problem, but from different perspective. And it's confusing for users, for administrators. And this is the main purpose which led to initiation of Elytron project. What is already implemented in Elytron? It's, yeah, it's mainly the set of APIs and SPIs. Uh, one of them is server uh, password factory, uh, which provides implementation of several types of passwords and password mechanisms and representations as hash passwords, sorted passwords. Uh, and it provides also API to some level of transformation from one, trans, uh, for, from one representation of passwords, for example, from plain, I want to convert to, to some other representation. And when it is supported, we have API for it. Uh, the other area are security realms, which we can compare somehow to login modules in in security domains, like legacy security domains. And the security realms represent integration point with user store. So where your user population lives, for example, you have users in LDAP or in database. So through security realms, you can access and sometimes manage the users. Uh, it contains, yeah, as, as, as I said, it contains also modifiable API, so it, it's different to login modules. You can 
directly change through the API the user population and, for example, attributes of users. Uh, security domains are the points against which the authentication starts. So if you have web application, it can say, or administrator can say, yeah, this application will be protected by this security domain. And security domain references security realms, which provides uh, users, for example, for authentication. Uh, SASL mechanisms are based on existing JBoss SASL solution, and the completely new is HTTP authentication framework, which introduces something like SASL into, into HTTP. And everything is packaged as new Java GCA security provider, which is registered by, uh, by Electron extension. We will see it later. And also there is ongoing uh, work on integration to other subsystems like web server and EJBs, also remote, remoting and yeah, the, the other subsystem which needs to handle its security. Uh, under the umbrella of Electron, we can also count the new uh, Wildfly Security Manager, which is already in, already in Wildfly versions, which we have now. You can try it when you start uh, the Wildfly with minus sec MG, MGR uh, argument. Uh, if you make simple comparison of the subsystems uh, as we have it now in the integration branch, the old security subsystem has XML schema file with four, 400 lines and the Electron subsystem, which is not completed. Yeah? Uh, for example, the SSL configuration is missing there and it already have two and a half thousand lines. So yeah, it will be huge thing. And if we look into the configuration, how it looks like, usually in legacy security subsystem, you have security domain, which contains references to login modules with some configuration of authentication. The Electron subsystem has something similar. It has security realms with the user population, security domain, which references uh, the security realm, and then, for example, HTTP authentication, which references security domain, or SASL authentication, which references security domain. And what we can expect in the next days and weeks, uh, Peter is working on credential store API SPI, which will, which will replace uh, security vaults, which are currently used to store sensitive information. So if you don't want to store, for example, uh, database password in your application server configuration, you will put it, or currently you put it into the vault, and in the future you will use credential API SPI to store it somewhere out of the server configuration and the server configuration will hold only the reference to, to the credential store. The other part which, it's, which is expected is the single configuration of XS, SSL context, which, which is, as I said, currently configured for example for example, in security domains, security realms, or under tau. And there will be a need for uh, integration in other subsystems, as remoting or JMS, but uh, thanks to new feature in Wildfly 10, which is called capabilities and uh, requirements, uh, this is not so big deal 
and the subsystem don't need to have a dependency on Electron project. They just will need to say, yeah, I want to new SSL context, for example, with the, this name, and they don't need to know that behind is Electron or other provider. And uh, backward compatibility. Uh, once the Electron is merged in Wildfly, I think user will start to ask, how will I transfer my configuration from legacy subsystem into, Wild, into Electron? How will I move from vault to credential stores and so on? And this is our only guesses how it will continue. Uh, I've talked with Peter and the plan was to um, to have the old system and Electron sometime in parallel and then cut most of the JAS, JAS security and only keep log login modules which, which are used, for example, as third party modules. Uh, customers have their own implementation, so only this part will, be, will survive. And also, some migration tool for, for the UOTs should be introduced. Yeah, and now the demo time. I want to show you how to simply secure web application in Wildfly. And at first, I will show you how to do it in the legacy subsystem and then how to do it with new Electron. Uh, for legacy subsystem, I will use uh, users and roles stored in property files, and in Electron, I will store them in file system realm. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's try it. This is my window, and <coughs> yeah, we will replace the Wild Five with clean installation of of the version where is Electron integrated and. Hopefully we will start it. And how the test application looks like, it's single JSP, JSP file application and it also includes two deployment descriptors. One is uh, vendor specific RJBoss web XML which is used to reference security domain, and the second is the standard uh, deployment descriptor from server specification web XML. And if we look into them, uh, this is the JBoss web XML. Yeah, we just reference web tests as name of security domain. The standard uh, deployment descriptor says that all application will be protected and only users with role admin will have access and the application will be protected with basic authentication and realm name presented to user will be secured kingdom. And the third file is the JSP, which only prints the name of authenticated user, so principal name. Yeah. 
Uh, the next step be before we deploy this application, we will set up the legacy security domain because we reference the security domain name from, uh, from the application. So we want to have it prepared for deployment. So I've prepared two property files uh, which contains users and roles. If we look into users file, yeah, it's only mapping username password and property file uh, and roles file is uh, mapping from username to list of roles. And how to configure the legacy security domain? Usually you don't need, for example, security RAM to configure, but because I don't have the property files on class path, I, I use the way through security RAM. So the authentication comes from security realm and security domain is only used to reference security realm through realm direct login module. So this is the management operations which we will need to, to do. So let's run it. And mm, let's deploy the application. We can check it. It's deployed. And we can test it. Uh, I will use the command line based uh, HTTP client curl. And it will be in verbose mode, so we will see the HTTP headers. And yeah. I didn't provide any authentication information and the server responses with 401 unauthorized. So we, we are not authenticated. If we provide authentication information, so username, admin, and his password, the response from server is with status OK, and we, we see that the, we are authenticated into the JSP with, with username admin. So this is authentication in legacy subsystem, security subsystem. Now in the In the Elytron, we will need to do some more steps. This is, uh, man these are management operations which we'll need to do to complete the configuration. So first, register Elytron subsystem in wildfire configuration, then configure uh, file system realm, which will be stored somewhere under the server configuration. And as you can see, we will use directly management operations to add users, set their password, and also set their attributes. I, I use setting attributes to configure roles. Once we have security realm, we can use it in sec new security domain, which name test domain, and then we will configure HTTP server authentication, which will reference the new security domain. And final step is to say to Undertow subsystem that uh, if, if the application requires authentication to web tests domain, we will map it to the HTTP server authentication, which we configured in, in the preview step. So it will be authenticated through Elytron. Let's run the script and check the server log file if it contains, yeah, it should contain some message from 
electron that it is ready. And now we can again check the authentication. So first without username password. Yeah, and again we are not authorized. But now the real name in authenticate header from server, it's not the the name we used in deployment descriptor, but it's the name we configured in Electron. So secured by Electron. If we provide username password, yeah, we have un unauthorized because for Electron we have a little bit different password, so I will provide E on, on, the, on the end of the password and it authenticates correctly. So we switch from legacy authentication to Electron authentication. Hopefully, uh, some steps uh, will not be necessary once the Electron is ready in Wildfly and I, I expect some reasonable defaults, for example, for the HTTP, HTTP server authentication. But yeah, we will see. Uh, as I said, uh, Electron itself registers uh, its functionality or its services as standard uh, Java security services in security provider. I have a second short demo which shows how to add additional, additional functionality by adding new security provider through Electron. So let's continue in this demo. And I have simple, web, simple single JSP, which just lists names of security providers registers, registered in the JVM. And or it also lists key stores registered by the security providers. Let's deploy the application. Check if it is deployed. And list the providers. Uh, there is a set of standard, uh, do you see it? Mm, not so much. Standard uh, security providers. Uh, registered by security, Java security configuration file in your Java runtime environment, and the key store types. The last, the last security provider listed here is the Wildfly Electron, which is the one registered by extension. Also, the password file in the key store types comes from from the Electron. So, it's what, what is in Electron by default, and when we want to add the P PKCS11 security provider, uh, yeah. This is the management operation for it, which says in Electron, add new provider loader with given uh, provider class, load it from given Wildfly module, and we can also provide some properties for, for the init newly initiated provider. And we will say 
register it on the server startup. Let's run it and run again test application and you can see some PKCS 11 security provider is registered and in keystore types we have new type PKCS 11. This keystore type can be used for example to to access smart cards uh, or keys, pro uh, keys stored on smart cards or USB tokens or in this demo it was used to access network security services key store. So once more the conclusion, Elitron is set of APIs and SPIs and it should provide unified security configuration across the whole application server. And maybe it will completely replace JAS and Picketbox. So it's, a, the, it's the next big thing in Wildfly. And you should give it a try. Uh, currently, you need to build the components yourself, but the integration is, it's expected that now after releasing Wi-Fi 10, uh, some parts will be integrated into the main, uh, main branches, so into the Wi-Fi core and Wi-Fi. If you find any issue, there's a LI project in JBoss issue director, so you can rep report it. Or if you have any foods uh, or ideas or comments, you can talk with the developers on HipChat. And it's all. Do you have questions? Uh, could you explain the relationship between Electron and Kiko? Um. Keycloak is mainly single sign-on, yes, so it will be, I think it could be used as security realm. Yeah, so there, there should be there should be integration in the future. But the base security layer in Wildfly should be Elitron. So there are some overlaps, so to say, that uh, Keycloak may uh, serve the same role as the future Elitron, right? Or uh, Keycloak can serve as a, as a as an implementation for some variants of, of the security. That's, that's the right statement? I, I think the Keycloak tries to solve another area of, of problems. Yeah. If you know current solution security, uh, we have picket link and picket box in Wildfly. And picket box is the core of the security and picket link is mainly single sign-on, summer-based. So in the future, Elitron will be the core, and Keycloak will provide single sign-on. Yeah. I don't know the Keycloak very much, so I can answer better. Any other questions? If not? Thanks. As as far as I know, it's not possible now. But I don't know what are the plans with this provider provider loaders under the Elitron. Peter, do you have some information? 
remove and reorder. Yeah, so the future is bright. Any other questions? If not, thank you for your attention and have a nice evening. Ну, просто он не надо.
Tak Hondo, chceš ty, ty prezentace? Jo, určitě Myslím, nejde, že nám týbají dvě. Akože prezentátory mali technický problém to dostat na USB, protože... Akože, ne, ale oni to nemali v kopirovatelnou formátu. To je to malé jen jako na webe, ale ho a pani Uříško to tady potom celý zastřeží. Počuva, obi dvou jsem povedal, že si to pošlu na jobléha, hej? No, Nechce tu je všechno ostatné. Dejte to všechno do té uválky. A tak, jak jsou uválky, tak se dostali taky vrhte. No, já jsme ho dostali, protože jsme věděli, co nej bylo. Je to vlastně jiný začátek. Je to ten sešní věc, který jsme začátek, co tam bylo kopsat. Tady jsou ty papíry, když jsme tam vrhli. To je moje papír. To je tvůj? To tam nebylo, no. Tak prezentér tady můžete nechat, ale tady můžeme taky nechat. A ale ten obsah obálky, co byl, tak to se dá. Toto jedno mu tam možná naházet, já toto zkontroluji, co tam mám víš. Ty Macy moc nešly, no. Dve prezentácie boli do zelená. Papír zazeme, prosím. Toto škrt ve? To je moja. Jo, Honzo říkal, že tohle máme tam odnést. Odneseš to? 